welcome everyone farmer cop here this is going to be the top 10 mods of the week uh for all platforms so um again these are for last week so it's going to be between 9 26 and 9 30 for the mods released in that period um and then hopefully at the end of this week on time this time i will get out the top 10 mods video for this week but without further ado let's go ahead and jump into the top 10 mods of the week all right for number one we have the lizard yt193 yard truck this is by pasco couts this is 7.20 megabytes to download for all platforms currently rated 4.7 out of 5 stars with 175 people having rated it this essentially is just kind of a little semi truck or a little tractor trailer type deal well the tractor itself um, or lorry depending on where you're at in the world uh, designed to move stuff around um, just kind of your yard not designed to necessarily haul stuff anywhere or anything like that but just be used to move stuff around your yard or multiple trailers around while maybe your trucks are busy or your trucks aren't maybe as maneuverable this one's gonna be a little bit easier to move around as it's much smaller um you can get it in either 195 or 225 horsepower um and it does pretty good but there you go that is the uh, lizard yt193 yard truck for your yard all right for number two we have the kubota workshop this is by the lord this is 16.57 megabytes to download for all platforms currently rated 4.7 out of 5 stars with 79 people having rated it this, again, is just a workshop. It's $50,000 to buy, $5 a day maintenance, um, and there's also a sign that comes with it. So that sign on the right-hand side there is optional, but you can have that if you want to, um, or you can just kind of use it as a Kubota-based kind of farm shop around your shop to, or around your farm to uh, repair your equipment. But it does have a repair trigger inside and has these two garage doors you can see, and the one you can see through the garage on the back side there. So uh, a lot of really good detail to it, a really good-looking shop, but there you go. That is the Kubota Workshop by the Lord. All right, for number three, we have the 50-foot gooseneck transport trailer. This is by 82 Studio. This is 24.49 megabytes to download for all platforms. Currently rated 4.8 out of five stars with 227 people having rated it. This is uh, a gooseneck and regular trailer. You can adjust it either way. Um, you can either do auto load bales. It also has a small capacity for seeds and uh, liquid fertilizer or herbicide if you wanted to do that. I um, mean, kind of store some stuff in there if you wanted to go that route. But uh, there's a lot of customization. So let's hop in the store real quick and then we'll go ahead and take a look at the 50-foot gooseneck trailer. Starting price is $8,000 to buy, which is awesome. Now, it does say thirty to 46,000 bales. It's not going to do 46,000 bales. It'll do 30 bales. So just ignore that. The reason it says 46,000, I'll show you in a second. But we have different configurations. We have standard, so it's literally just a trailer. And then if we go over one to nurse trailer, it is a trailer. Plus, it has this 4,600 liter capacity. You can see these little tanks underneath it here. Those will give you that ability to um, move some stuff around there if you wanted to do that. So that's pretty awesome that it does that. Then you have the nurse trailer unreal that's where we get the 46,000 where that'll hold 46,000 liters of items for you then we bump it into the bale auto load trailer so it's so auto load 30 bales for you and then we're back to standard uh, we also have a couple other things on here um, there's different wheel configurations and stuff like that different wheel setups everything like that flat deck uh, you can have ramps on the back or you can have a dovetail on the back so a few different options for you mud guards back and both um, then you have different panel designs here if you want to look at those attacher type we have gooseneck so you have gooseneck right here or we can do a bumper pull so depending on what you want there extras we have nothing then we have slide rails so these little rails on the side you can see them sticking out a little bit if i go back to none and then back on um, they will stick out and they will kind of make this thing a little bit wider then we have log poles so these will fold up to make it basically a log trailer for you and then extensions so there we go we have that as well where the extensions there are just on the inside you can see those will pop out there for you as well and then back to standard so there you go and then there's lots of course color configurations and then you have your license plate configuration at the bottom there as well so uh yeah honestly a really detailed trailer just like anything that 82 studio does and you have a lot of options for it so there you go that is the 50 foot gooseneck transport trailer by 82 studio all right for number four we have the bison gigant uh z061 this is by doyce volt 36.22 megabytes to download for all platforms currently rated 4.8 out of five stars with 202 people having rated it. It's a uh, harvester for you, as well as that harvester header on the front, and you can adjust that, that canola kind of cutter on the front that's blue on that harvester header. You can take that on or off. You can't configure the color on it though, so just something to note as far as that goes. Uh, but you can configure the color on the harvester and everything else pretty much. Um, this thing has 220 horsepower, hold 300 liters of fuel, has a 5,100 liter grain tank, uh, will run at 22 kilometers per hour at top speed, but it's only $44,000 to buy. The uh, binds on header you see is five meters of working width, um, and has a working speed of eight kilometers per hour, which is standard for harvesters, and it will cost you eight thousand dollars. So you can get a working harvester for fifty-two grand if you bought this new, which is pretty sweet. Um, and there's also a fifteen hundred dollar little harvester uh, header trailer um, if you wanted to use that to move your harvester header around. But really well detailed, nice little kind of older school uh, harvester there for you. But the Bison Gigant Z061. 
All right, number five, you are seeing part of my map tour for Green River 22 on your screen right now. This is a map by BART NLD Community. This is 142.73 megabytes to download for all platforms. This map has a ton of details, and unfortunately it's only rated 4.1 out of five stars when it should have a much higher rating than that, with 325 people rating it though, to be fair. But make sure you guys check this map out. It has a lot of good details on it, a really good set of farms on here, 160 acres of fields and all sorts of other cool features. Um, and right now on your screen will pop up a card to the map tour if you wanted to check that out. That'll give you a lot more information and detail on this in case you're looking to try to play it. All right, for number six, we have the Lizard Roadrunner Hay Squeezer or Hey Queezer, I guess it says on there, but I'm gonna say Squeezer because I think that makes a little more sense. This is by Pascal Kautz. This is 10.10 megabytes to download for all platforms, currently rated 4.8 out of five stars with 161 people having rated it. It'll range you between 123,000 and 133,000. It has this bale clamp you see on the front of it, that white piece that attaches to the front. It can go up extremely high. So if you wanted to lift bales really high, you could do it with this thing. And it'll hold up to eight bales at a time is what it advertises. Square bales obviously are gonna work uh, probably the best. I don't know how you do with the other ones, but uh, there you go. It has 500 horsepower and it is pretty sweet. You also have reverse driving mode, so you can either drive it forward like this um, or forward the other way. So the other way is kind of essentially how it's supposed to go forward. This is technically the back we're looking at here, but again, you can make either way the forward uh, for you when you drive it because it has that different driving directions. But really cool mod. This is the Lizard Roadrunner Hay Queezer by Pascal Kautz. And for number seven, we have the Straw Processing Mod. This is by NYKK3, 8.82 megabytes to download for all platforms. Currently rated 4.8 out of five stars with 107 people having rated it. This is a really cool production mod that only costs you $70,000 and daily upkeep $100. Um, you can make different products out of your straw, such as like straw hats or bags. So it's pretty cool. Um, really cool, just something different. I like seeing new productions come to the game, of course, and I like seeing it when we have different productions come. So there's something a little bit different about this one, which I really like. So um, also a card will pop up on your screen. If you wanna know if it's actually worth it to do this profitability wise, check out that card or how to use this mod. Um, that link will take you right over to there and it'll teach you how to use this and if it's actually worth it. But there you go. That is the straw processing mod by NYKK3. All right, for number eight, we have the Honeybee Airflex series. This is by Custom Modding, 193.06 megabytes to download for all platforms, currently rated 4.7 out of five stars with 325 people having rated it. This is a pack of headers that are highly detailed and very cool. So this, they just work really well. It's a good set of headers. At the end of the day, yes, it's just a header, um, but there's some cool features to it. Make sure you guys check out the link down below if you guys wanna go download this or any of the other mods here, but that'll give you a little bit more information regarding this mod. And if we take a look at it in the store, um, we have the one I have out there is a 7.6 meter header. Then we have a 9.1, 11, 12.2, 13.7, 15.2, 18.3. And then continuing from there, we have the Airflex cart, which is gonna allow you to move those headers around uh, fairly easily, which is pretty cool. So um, yeah, the one thing I will note, I didn't try buying all of the headers. I uh, tried to buy this one to show off the biggest one, but I always got, if I tried to buy it, I always got this message right here. It would say delivery space block, please move other items. The store is clear. Um, I also tried using it with the store delivery mod, so I'm not sure if that's an issue with the store delivery mod. It might be a mod conflict there, so I'm not sure why that's uh, having that issue, but just something to be aware of. You might have some issues buying it depending on what map you're on or what mods you have installed. So just an FYI there, but there you go. That's the Honeybee Airflex series headers. All right, for number nine, we have the wind generators made with barrels. This is by NYKK3. 8.09 megabytes to download for all platforms, currently rated 4.9 out of five stars with 72 people having rated them. At the end of the day, yes, these are just generators to generate electricity, but they are so cool. I mean, they just have some nifty animations. It's something a little bit different than what we typically see in the game. So I like that we have these out there and I think that they deserve that high rating that they have. Uh, but we have the tiny wind generator on the far left, $2,500 to buy, daily maintenance cost of a dollar, and then daily earnings of $360. Now, I don't know if that's actually the monthly earnings or if that's gonna be daily. I think it's gonna actually be the technically the month earnings there. But regardless of that, um, then we also have the small wind generator and the wind generator, the small one costs $5,000, $2 a day maintenance, $600 a day income. And then the larger one is $8,000, $5 a day maintenance and $840 a day in earnings. So very cool. Make sure you guys check these out. These are the wind generators made with barrels by NYKK3. All right, for number 10, our final mod for the week. This is the John Deere 6M by Agritono. This is 20.27 megabytes to download for all platforms. Currently rated 4.8 out of five stars with 181 people having rated it. 
Now, the reason this is cool is it has a lot of different customization, as you can see with it, and a lot of things you can do with it. Yes, we already have John Deere 6Ms available to us, but this adds a lot of different customizations that I don't think we have right now, which I think are cool. So that is why I think this is a worthwhile mod, including the numbering system, which you can see the number nine on this tractor in the center of it. You can number it one through nine, which is pretty cool. So you can have your tractor's number. But there you go. That is the John Deere 6M, and that is our final mod for this week. So if you guys enjoyed, please drop a like down below. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button up on the screen to join the Farmer Cop channel and turn your notification bell so you don't miss any future videos I may post. This has been Farmer Cop. Thank you guys for coming and for watching.